Hello there, and welcome to another Starfield video. So, we got another subscriber build today. We're going to be looking at uh, Michael's Shady Jane. This is a, a custom build on a vessel that it's... I'm pretty sure it's it's meant to be the vessel that you can find in the... um the Like, one of the POIs, the kind of the ship uh, manufacturer plant, usually kind of held by spacers and stuff. But it's a really, really cool custom design. And it, uh, yeah, really good representation. I love the color scheme. I love the sleekness. It's a ship that, like, fits in with the game. I Like, it's something that I could see, you know, being, which is, it is in the game. That's what I mean. Like, it's, <clears throat> it should be in the game, sadly. It's just a set piece. But anyway, yeah, let's, let's get into it. So, stat-wise, it's got a fuel of 420. That consisting of the two fuel tanks there on either side. It's got a hull of 1113, so just under 1100, over 1100 hull, which isn't too bad. Carrier capacity of 980, 640 of which is being shielded. <coughs> this is meant to be, excuse me, this is meant to be a smuggling vessel, as uh, Michael has uh, told me. So it's a B-class reactor with 31 power. The reactor is at the back somewhere. Where is it? Also, that engine, I know now that engine is supposed to be up higher. We are going to fix that in a moment. Um... It's got a crew of five, which is pretty good. A jump range of 29 light years. It's got a 1125 shield. And it's got single particle weapons. It's got 92 power particle weapons. Cost around 250k to build this ship, which isn't too bad. So let's let's check it out. So I'm going to really quickly modify. Because when I was building this, um, when I was building this, I was going off of, um, off of kind of like the, the kind of the breakdown of the layer. And uh, the engine looked a bit funky, but uh, that's I'm assuming that's the right. Let me know, Michael. Okay, let's go check it out. So it's a really cool profile. Really, really cool ship. Really wide, which I quite like. I love those landing gear. It's like the perfect kind of mix. You've got those big Hovetech landing gear. And then at the back, you got the little kind of landing. Smaller. I love this one. My favorite landing gear. It looks so cool. And it's just nice. It folds up. Anyway, we're going to enter it. In Vigo. That light is broken. And it just started raining. Okay. Anyway, in we go to our nice cozy ship. So we've got the... It's all Hope Tech. we got the Hope Tech uh, cargo bay. The largest cargo bay in the game. I could just imagine you parking like a little kind of 4x4. Four four, like a technical or like a rover. Just rolling it out. Anything over here? Haha, there is. Mine now. Alright, here we go. So, <clears throat> immediately we have the control room where our crew can do all of their assessment missions. And then we have a docking port here at the front. And then if we head off to the left side, we have an infirmary. This is not an infirmary, this is a science lab. We have a science lab. For all your sciencey stuff, what is that? Chlo chlorophyll solution, natural flavor. Night. I mean, understand these. What what is natural flavor? Michael, what are you doing on this ship? Anyway, moving on. Um, I love like Hope Tech cabs. Just very nice. Got a nice little plant here. We go across the other side. There. That's very confusing. Hold on now. Wrong button. Let me. I press the wrong button. Um. Well, that's quite interesting. Why can't we get over to the other area? Oh, there's going to be a ladder down, maybe? Um, that's really weird. We're going to really quickly check. We might have to go and modify it. In we go. Up here, we just have your standard, uh, making use of the, um... Got a bridge there. Cockpit. And then we've got... We've got the, uh, these are the fuselage pieces. We've got one, two, 
three fuselage pieces. Really wish we could get some more like variety with these. Hopefully in a future update, we will. Um, anyway, if we drop down here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so they, this is the other side. Hello, Simeon. We got a all-in-one berth. For the crew to kind of chill. What do we got in the fridge? We got stuff. Nice. Nothing is beyond our reach when we work together. <laughs> Humans working together, no chance. And then we've got the engineering room back here. Very nice, got some nice views out the back. I really, really like this ship. I could definitely see it being like kind of kitted as like a kind of a, well, like a kind of a hero ship. And then down at the bottom, we've got a workstation with all the accoutrements. Very nice. And then up we go, and we have back up to the cockpit. All right, let's let's take this puppy off, shall we? We got my new armor. I'm using a mod, a retexture mod that makes it shiny. I really like it, but um, I'm gonna take off. Really wish it changed the um. I really wish it changed the uh. Bum 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 bum. I wish it changed the like the helmet and the um the visor and stuff. Anyway, so let's really quickly we've got more than enough power well actually that's a lie, we don't have more than enough power because um how do we not have more than enough power? Okay, anyway, so as always, I have a perk that increases my power by five, so for the sake of this review, we're not going to be using five power. So, real quick, weapon-wise, we only got those particles, but they do the job. I quite like that. I will say bonus points, Michael. I like that you kind of admit to yourself it's meant to be like a smuggler ship, and you're not really meant to fight. It's just it's a last resort sort of situation, which makes sense. Anytime a ship doesn't have max particles in all three slots, I'm like, very nice. Anyway, uh, base speed is probably going to be one, 150. Yeah, it's 150. Very nice. And then boost speed is probably going to be like 600-ish. Yeah, 600. Not too bad, not too bad. A little agility test. It's average agility. It's not, I'd say I'd give it a solid 5 on a good day. And then roll. Oh, they're all not too bad. All right, now we're going to head down to the planet, and I'll show you how we built it. All right, so we've got the ship built into three sections. We've got the Armstrong 20-yard cockpit from Hope Tech, 260 cargo, and two crustacean. Behind that, we've got a Hope Tech companion wave fuselage B, a Hope Tech companion wave fuselage C, and then a Hope Tech storeroom fuselage D. On top of here, we got a scan jammer multi-frequency. Now, these, these may be slightly different because um, I have a mod that basically gives me all of the ship parts, but I don't have the the comm spike, so I know the comm spike goes here, but just, yeah, if any of these are wrong, uh, let me know, Michael. We've got a Hope Tech radiator, probably one of the nicest structural pieces in the game, and then we have a Warden SG-400 shield generator from Sex and Shield System, B-Class, 10 power, 1125 shield. We've got the Aurora 13G grab drive from Deep Core, B-Class, 10 power, 30G jump thrust. We've got one of two White Dwarf 3030 engines from Relvidine, A-Class, 3 power, 21930 engine thrust, 3210 maneuvering. Second level of the vessel, we've got a Hope 11 Doctor 4. We've got a Hope Tech Control Station 2x1. We have a Hope Tech All-in-One Berth 2x1, a Hope Tech Science Lab 2x1, and an Engineering Bay 3x1. Uh, we've got uh, mounted on some Horizon weapon mounts. We have four PB100 neutron beams from Ballistic Solution Incorporated, B-Class, 3899.99 range, 2.5 fire rate, 23 hull and shield damage, and 3 power. We've got two Hope 55 landing gear. They give 4 thrust. We've got two 500T helium 3 tanks from Ballistic Solutions. They give us 210 each. We've got the Ion Beam H1030 Raptor from Xi'an, B class, 31 power, 975 hull. We've got two White Dwarf 2030 engines from Relodyne, A class, 3 power. 13,020 engine thrust, 2,700 maneuvering. We also have our second White Dwarf engine. Structural pieces, we've got two portholes, one here and one there. We've got 
two Hope Tech Nose B pointed aft. We've got two Nova Trusters arrays. We've got two windows here and here, two portal tops. We have two equipment plates. One here will have the scan jammer, one here is both of the comm spike. Two more um, nose speeds. And then we have our um, weapon mounts there and there. And then on the bottom of the vessel, we have the Hope 4 landing bay from Hope Tech. Stroud engine bracer A, two of them, one there, one there. We have our Hope Tech workshop two by one. We have four Degamma 1000 shielded cargo holes for Panoptes, 160 each. And then finally, we have the Hope 5 landing gear from Hope Tech, one thrust. So all in all, very nice ship. Now, one thing I would say to you, uh, Michael, obviously, you know, ship is phenomenal. No, no negatives at all. Although, you know me and my, uh, you know me and my turrets. I would, I would say, ideally, it'd be cool to have some, maybe some turrets, you know, make it a true hero ship. Again, I don't really do this much anymore where I kind of, you know, tell people like, this is what I do, you know, and because obviously like the build is phenomenal regardless. But I will say, it could it could definitely do two of these bad boys. You know, one there. Oh, look at that. The the sex appeal has increased from like a hundred percent to a hundred and five percent. Amazing. But yeah, anyway, all in all, very very cool ship, Michael. I really love it. Love the name. Uh, if I got anything wrong, let me know. And any lore you want to post, uh, let me uh, post it in the comments, and I will pin your comments. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like sort of content and check out some of my other videos. Uh, bye bye.